In a quiet city street is a quiet city building. In that quiet city building is a quiet city office. And in that quiet city office, um, well... I'm a writer across Gizmodo, Lifehacker, Kotaku and Business Insider, uh, focusing on tech and gaming. A typical day involves getting into the office, uh, sorting through the enormous amount of press releases that are in my inbox every day, and basically a lot of writing, <laughs> a lot of writing, a lot of testing out gadgets, um, you know, penning up reviews, all that sort of thing. Uh, gaming is a big part of what I do. Um, not so much at the office though, I think there's a little bit of a misconception that uh, if you write about video games that means you just sit in the office playing them all day, but most of my gaming time is actually in my own time. It's it's at home. But yeah, every now and again, every now and again we, we find some time to fire up a game at the office. It, it was an interesting path that I, that I took, that I ended up here. Uh, I started off doing acting and voiceover work and then I fell into presenting and one of my first presenting gigs was actually reviewing video games because I've been a gamer my whole life. Um, I've always written, so that's something that's always come kind of naturally to me. Uh, and I moved from just writing scripts to present to writing you know, for websites and, and print media as well. Yeah, other than just writing here, um, I do also present videos, um, I produce and host a podcast, um, I also represent the sites in other forms of media, so I will go on morning television on mornings on behalf of Kotaku or Gizmodo or Lifehacker, depending on what we're talking about. While the job of a tech and gaming journalist is already pretty cool, dotted around Ray's desk are clues that this mild-mannered reporter may be hiding a secret identity. Cosplay is dressing up, basically. It's kind of like when you go to a costume party, but it's at a convention and there's tens of thousands of people also doing it. I find it the most wonderful way to express your fandom. You don't necessarily have to make your own costumes either. I think that's a bit of a, a myth surrounding it. Uh, there's absolutely nothing wrong with getting someone else to make it or even just buying one online. It doesn't matter. As long as you're having fun, that's the main thing. The thing about this part of my job that's really cool for me is it's actually kind of an incredible experience. I get to travel all over the country, go to every Oz Comic Con. I get to be really deeply involved in the Australian Championships of Cosplay. So I get to see basically the most dedicated geeks in the country, which is really, really awesome. I get to walk around the show floor and meet people and meet little kids that love Wonder Woman and just come up to me and the little girls that are shaking because to them I am Wonder Woman and they go, excuse me, Wonder Woman, can I have a photo with you? And being able to provide that real life kind of role model for them, for them to be able to see Wonder Woman in the flesh and, and watch that enjoyment in them is, is just incredible. Wonder Woman to me represents everything that I would want to be. Uh, she is my role model. I know that it seems strange to have a, a role model that's a fictional character, but her compassion and strength, her integrity and her sense of justice and the way that she goes about solving problems with a non-violent goal at first. My favorite Wonder Woman costume my, is actually the, the Linda Carter Wonder Woman. She is your Sydney finalist. I wouldn't be touring with Oz Comic Con if I was just Ray Johnston the cosplayer. I wouldn't be writing for Kotaku Gizmodo if I was just Ray Johnston the writer. So it's all just really kind of part of what I do. I don't really consider them separate jobs, I suppose, which is interesting because technically they are. Technically it's not the same job, but I wouldn't have one without the other. 
That hard work and positive attitude have enabled Ray to absolutely nail that coolest of all cool jobs, getting paid to do something you love. My advice to anyone that's wanting to write uh, or review tech or video games is to make sure that you love writing. It's not just about the tech, it's not just about the games. You need to love the process of writing because that's what you're going to spend most of your time doing. Um, I think making sure that your voice is distinct is important. There's a lot of people that want to do what you want to do. So you need to make sure it's something that differentiates you from all the other voices out there. Um, you know, start a blog, start writing, practice writing, write every day, network, engage with other people that are doing what you want to be doing on social media or on Twitter, don't harass them every day for jobs, but involve yourself in conversations about topics that you have researched and written about and maybe link to your article and ask for some feedback.